recently we've seen some requests regarding the hover state of buttons. And so the main request was, um, you know, once you've selected a button and it's changed to visited, the user wanted the uh, hover state to stop working. Uh, currently, the way uh, Storyline works, and I'll show you that here with a particular button that has a built-in visited state, if I preview this, and I hover, it works. When I select, it's changed to visited, but it still hovers. And uh, so we've seen this request a lot where people were going, well, once I've selected it, I really don't want it to uh, be hovering all the time. I just wanted to show whatever that selected state now looks like. So I'm going to show you how to do that a couple of ways. And one, I'm just going to show you, it's it's a little bit easier, uh, mainly with a, a regular shape, but e the, the same process works for both. So I've added a regular shape and I've, I've turned it into a button by adding a hover state. And then obviously we could add a trigger to it to do whatever we wanted it to do. And so to get the effect that I'm going to go for, I'm going to edit the state and I am going to create a new state and I'm going to choose um, the visited state. And as we know, the visited state is a built-in state, so it will become uh, this when it's automatically selected. And then I'm just going to change the formatting so we know when it has become visited. So I'm going to turn it red and, you know, you can add check marks or whatever it is that you're used to doing when you're doing the visited state. Now, the trick here is um, right now, if I were to play this, it's going to function just like the sample I just showed you. But I'm going to take this uh, object that's on the visited state and I'm going to cut it and then paste it back. And you'll see that when I paste it back, there may be times you have to adjust the font or so here. In this case, I did not have to. But just doing that, when I hit done and now preview this slide, you'll see the effect that we're going for. I will hover and it works. When I make a selection, it changes to the visited state, but now the hover is no longer going to be showing. And uh, to do that on a button, if you added a button, so in this case, this is a built-in button, not a shape. If I were to try that same process currently and hit edit states, select visited, and then cut this uh, option out and paste it back in, you'll see that it just pasted it in as a small rectangle. And so there's a little bit of like work I'm gonna have to do to get this just right. So what I recommend when you're doing this with a button is just delete this state and then re-add it. Do a new uh, state, choose visited and hit add. And then you would again process this however you might want to by adding a check, or in this case, I'm just going to change the color. And I'm going to cut that and paste it back. And on this one, you'll see it did not shrink it. And again, the font's the right size. I don't have to adjust that, but, but there may be times you have to do that. And I'll hit done. And now we'll see if both of these buttons work as expected. So now I can hover and get the hover effect when I select. It changes to visited, no longer hovers, and the same with the original. So that might be helpful for you if you're trying to create the effect where you want your button's hover state to only be active when they haven't been selected. So thanks for watching. At UConn Learning, we're all about making e-learning easy for everyone. So whether you're new to course development or experienced, we're here to help you create more effective learning. You can visit us at uconlearning.com.